Hey everybody, and thanks for watching the lure tour. We always have a hot debate on what worms float. So today we have the Zoom finesse worm, the Robo worm, the Zoom trick worm, the Gulp shaky head, and the power bait, power shaky worm. If you look in the tank, there is the finesse worm. Here's the trick worm. There's the robo tail. Power bait, shaky worm. And over here is the gulp. Now the power bait and gulp are practically the same worm. They look like they came out of the same mold, but the gulp worm feels a lot more stiff. And you can see in the water, it's been sitting in the package over the winter, and you can see how the worm is laying. It hasn't stretched out or anything. Um, I think it would get a lot softer and actually retain its shape if soaked it in the gulp container, but if you're just buying a package of them, be prepared for a pile of worms that are all crooked and really don't do much. Now these zoom trick worms, people always say they don't flow as well. I haven't done anything to this worm. I don't I don't care if it floats or if it sinks, but there's a finesse worm and there's a trick worm. Alright, what I'm going to do now is take this finesse worm off and put on another trick worm. Is there a bubblegum pink trick worm? which one it is. Just grab one out of the bag. and we'll drop it in the tank. Guess what? That one didn't float. And that one does. This is the uh, motor oil and chartreuse one, and there's a bubblegum one over there. So I guess with the trick worms, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And it just depends on what package you get. There isn't really any consistency across them. Um, I'm showing you these two because you know, they're different, and I have probably 15, 20 packages of the trick worms, and I've tested all of them. And sometimes they float, and sometimes they don't. Even in the same package, I could put on six or seven of these ones, and three would float, four wouldn't.